I guess you did what you had to do. You, you were very cautious, went out yeah. fast, stayed in that front pack virtually the entire yeah. race. Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I'm usually like, used to running the front, especially against the competition. And uh, this time I kind of had to insert myself into the pack. Um, and so it was good practice running around people because I got a little sloppy. I nicked a couple of barriers and uh, just kind of let my mental fortitude slide a little bit and didn't get too comfortable. Um, so that's something I'm going to work on going to the final is just being more aggressive, more assertive with guys around me. So were you also, was part of your strategy to run at the front to be cautious and not get tangled up? Yeah, I mean, I'm long legs, I'm better up front. Um, I like running up front. I don't think it's, I think it's almost an advantage in the steeple. You get a better look at the barriers. So you, you know, minimize, who knows what, you know. Falls. Limits so, triple jump coming through. It's not through. like hurdles, you follow people over the barriers. All around, so yeah, yeah, it's, uh, and everyone has their own jumping style. I mean, some guys jump really late, some guys jump early, so it's, it's always a delicate balance trying to like shuffle around and get over the same barrier at the same time. So what's your dream for the final? Make the Olympic team. I don't I mean, honestly just run to my potential, I think. I'm coming in with no pressure on my shoulders. I mean I accomplished my big goal of the season which is winning NCAAs. So uh, you know, being here was definitely the second goal of the se uh, season and we've set up the training and the periodization to run well here as well. So you know, to get to that final have some fun. I mean, you're saying have some fun, but is this going to be the biggest race of your life? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, but like I said, the, the pressure is not so much on me as it is on other guys. So I just have to be aggressive and compete. I mean, I just love competing. I think I'm a good racer. So this is a perfect opportunity to do it. Thanks. Thanks so much. Uh, run a couple of US finals now. Yeah, it's third one. What, what adjustments do you have to make running from the NCAA level to go into the final? I mean, here the quality of feels so great, much better. I mean, you got Evan Jager, who's like one of the best in the world. And uh, obviously, if you're trying to front run him and lead him out, he's just going to blow your doors off. So, like, it takes a different strategy here. You know, I'm not a guy that really likes to sit in the steeple, like I said, but uh, I'm going to have to here. I'm going to have to be patient. I'm going to have to key off with the other guys that are looking to make the team and, you know, hopefully I can surprise them and sneak up on them. What is your, uh, what's your sponsorship situation? Michigan right now, uh, amazing blue, but I'm working on that. So I'm excited. I think my potential is very high. I think I'm young in terms of my development as a runner. So, you know, I would love to continue this sport. I think I got big things in store. Did you graduate? I did, yeah. What was your degree? Aerospace engineering. Uh, and are you 21 now? 22. 22. So, this five years. Do you think that will be something that will be off to the trials if you think in the next? Uh, just kind of. Depending on how the timing works out, honestly, I'm just trying to stay patient because the worst thing I can do is get worked up about it or stressed about the sponsorship uh, agreement. I don't need that on my in my head going into the final. I mean, I'm here to race. I know it'll take care of itself. I know people have faith in me. I know I value. So, yeah. Thank you.